On this 20th anniversary, we remember. We remember where we were when we first heard the news. When we first saw the images of burning buildings and hijacked planes that were used by terrorists to hurt America. We remember our emotions, our shock, our disbelief, our anger at those terrorist acts. I remember what I was doing. My family had just PCS'd to the DC area and my first day of in-processing was the 10th of September 2001. So day two of in-processing was the 11th. When I kissed my wife goodbye early that morning, all she knew that I was headed to the Pentagon for a morning of orientation and some in-processing in other places. When I arrived for my in-processing, the leader said, oh, we've changed our schedule a little bit. We'll be doing the Pentagon tour in the afternoon and we'll be at Fort Myer doing in-processing. So we ended up in an auditorium listening to some presentations early that morning. Suddenly an MP came in and said, welcome to DC folks. We have these little warnings all the time, nothing to be alarmed, just stay put, we'll let you know when everything's okay. Obviously, he didn't know the extent of what was happening. We eventually found a television, wheeled it onto the stage of the auditorium. We turned it on, started watching the news, and we watched the events of the morning unfold like the rest of the world. By that time, the Twin Towers were burning because of the two planes that had hit. And just moments before, American Airlines Flight 77 had hit the Pentagon. We actually felt the rumbling of that in our auditorium on Fort Myer. We could, we could see the, the smoke billowing from the building and the plane as we watched over the hill from Fort Myer. Uh, it became very chaotic on Fort Myer at that time. The cell towers were, were locked, uh, cell phones couldn't get through, and that was the, the most challenging part of my morning was not being able to communicate with my wife, who'd already received calls from my family asking about me for an update, even our friends as well. She had nothing to share with them. All she knew is that I was headed to the Pentagon for a, a tour that morning. I finally got through about noon, and I was very glad to be able to share with her that I was safe. We remember, we remember the 56 members of Flight 77 and the 125 personnel who were in the building that morning who lost their lives. We remember stories of heroes who were protecting and saving the injured with little regard for their own safety. We remember when the huge American flag was unfurled over the side of the Pentagon wall. We remember how America responded. We remember how our patriotism swelled. We remembered how, our, how we steeled our resolve to endure through this tremendous tragedy. We remember how our country came together for a common purpose, to heal, to unite, to become stronger and to rebuild. We remember phrases like, let's roll and we will never forget. I'm reminded what the Bible says. The enemy intended evil against me, but God meant it for good to accomplish the saving of many lives. We remember how Americans resurged themselves back to churches, looking for answers, looking for hope. God was not surprised. This did not catch him off guard. His plan included a wake-up call for all Americans. We remember where we were 20 years ago. We still face many div divisive challenges in our country today. However, I pray that we would still act with the same steely resolve as we did then. May God continue to bless the United States of America.